Greetings, you people. Hello, my king. How's it going? How's it been? This is Brad Stone. I do indeed welcome you back to some more Out There Omega Edition. And, well, where we left off, it was a bit of a cliffhanger, I understand, but I didn't want to make that decision immediately. I had to think about it a bit. But you know what? I am, I am to the point, once again, where I need, honestly, and this is weird because no risk, no reward, but I feel like I need to break something to get something better. Um, and we're gonna hope that it works out in our favor, right? Okay, now the telescope. What does that do exactly? An optical device that determines the basic qualities of visible stellar bodies. So, if I don't have this, that means I don't know if the next place I go is uh, a red dwarf or a yellow dwarf or if it's a supernova. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna have to click and go. Based on faith, just click and go. So I lose a bit of, um... You know what? I don't lose enough. I'm just gonna get rid of it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna break it. So where is it? Telescope is there. We're gonna salvage it. Dismantle. Confirm. Now, we're going to make this ultra probe. And we're gonna get a shit ton of fuel with it, right? Of course, I have no hull. God damn it. God damn it. Alright, so, um, does this have, again, any, any, any iron? I forget now. I walked away and I don't remember if this has iron. It does have iron. Okay. So, we're going to drill pretty deep then. We're going to drill to a depth of... There it is. Alright, and I am going to drill once more. To a depth of three? Yes. Finish. And we're going to take off from here. Confirm. We're at 26 fuel. Are we even going to get to the next place we need to be? I don't even know, man. This is going to be a short damn video, if not. Um, we're going to split this into two and 18. Thank you. We're going to keep the two, use the 18. Our hull is now back in the green, that's good. Our fuel is not. Um, we're going to go back into orbit and we're going to take a look around. We've already went to this gas giant, it's crap, obviously. And I'm not going, as much as I want to, I'm not going to orbit a sun. A star. I'm just not. It's not going to happen. Not doing it. Um, we're going to hopefully, again, we don't have any telescope right now. So we don't know where we're going. We know how much fuel it's going to take to get there, approximately, and that's it. Alright, let's go to this one then. I think this is 20 and this one is more than that. No, they're both 20. Let's go to this one anyway. <sighs> actually, I can't, because if I do, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have enough fuel to actually orbit the damn thing. Where the hell am I going then? 16 to get there. 16, that's 10, that's 10. Is that going to be enough fuel to get to the, uh, if it has, if it has a gas giant. If it has a gas giant. Alright, what do I have for fuel? Anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. I have. I don't have a damn thing. I don't have anything for fuel. Um, I have no... <laughs> um, you know what? The star is looking really good right about now. Alright. I don't know what's... I don't know what's going to happen here. I have no idea. All I know is that if I, if I blow up... That's going to really suck if I blow up. However, if I don't, I have the ability to get a crap ton of fuel, and that's going to help further my adventures. If I leave here and go to another... It's risky. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to... And I won't have enough fuel to actually get to the planet. Because once you achieve orbit in that system, you still have to use fuel to get to the planet. This is like, honestly, as insane as this is, it's honestly the smartest thing. At least, I think it is. <sighs> Decision will be made in three, two, one. I'm still alive. Holy balls. All right, let's do this. Depth of one. Launch probe. What do I get? Only three. That's no good. <laughs> I got an achievement as well. Um, for... for trying to gather fuel from a star. As, 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 as. Alright, we're going to go to a depth of what? Four? We know this place has fuel now, so let's let's go ahead and start grabbing that fuel. Um, launch probe again. Eight. Honestly, this, this star better not run out of fuel anytime soon. I'm just saying. Five. It, although it looks like it is. Hey, give me my tungsten back. No, give me my hydrogen back. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, we're going to finish for a second. We're going to take a look at our ship, and we're going to... Put our newfound fuel inside of our ship. Okay. 
So we're still alive, currently. Um, did we go back to orbit? You know what? Let's take a look where we are still. We're going to probe again, I think. To depth of three. It's actually running out of fuel. Right. Um... I guess we're finished then. Um, although, no. What I could do instead is I could probe to the depth of one and continue getting that net gain. Yep, let's do that. This is what we do. I can't believe that I only took five damage from this damn star. I mean, I guess red dwarfs aren't really that hot. Okay, not really that hot. Not really that hot, really. Okay, but anyway, it's a damn star, of course it's hot, but you know what I mean. Nothing left to drill. That basically means that this star is going to die now. I have, I have diminished the life of this star, unfortunately. But fortunately, there's no life around it. Um, we're finished, and we are going to go back to our ship, and we're going to toss that in. And now we have places to go. Alright, so, crazy idea actually worked out. We're gonna go to this one here, that's where I wanted to go in the first place. Takes 20 to get there. I can't believe I'm still alive now. Once more, space folds around me. As I slip from one star system to another, I marvel at the power of this technology. With this space folder, mankind could grow and prosper throughout the stars. I must return to Earth, not only for my sake, but to deliver this instrument of freedom. And there's... and there's... nothing... I... and... there about... Alright, well, it, it worked before. Suicidal atmosphere. It worked before. <laughs> Alright, um, I, oh, Jesus. I'm not, I'm not really that desperate. I'm not as desperate as I was earlier. Let's go here then. Telescope required. I don't know where it's going. 17 to get there, however, and then I can continue on that way. Let's just go. Uh, all right. Everything's fine. What are you nervous about? I have one cubic meter of rations left. It was intended to feed a whole crew, but now I am the only one left. The rations include concentrated sticks of cereal and dried meat. They don't taste great, but I don't notice the taste anymore. Sometimes, when visiting a habitable planet, I discover fruits and berries that look and smell edible, but I never eat them. It would be stupid to escape exploding supernovae and huge black holes merely to die because of an attractive fruit. I would have to agree with you. Alright, so, risky, risky orbit. Alright. Let's, let's do it. Um. And, yes. It's gonna give us fuel. It's gonna give us a lot of fuel, in fact. 24 damage to my ship. I hate that. Launch the probe at 1 and see what we get. Nice. Helium, then. Okay, so we know that if we go to a depth of, you know what, let's do, let's do four. Still remain safe. We're going to get plenty of fuel, guys. Do not worry. Oh, gods. Let's go down. Diminishing returns always happen. Okay, I should probably just go back down to one now. Five per turn. Still okay. Five for one. And I can do this for days. I might even have, um, well, not quite 100% fuel. Nothing left to drill. I may have if I was able to keep going, but I don't have the ability to do so. So let's go back up to over 50, over 60, in fact. And then that is not going to be, that's not going to be quite 100. That's 97. That's pretty damn good, though. I have no reserves, but that's good. My hull is pretty much shit. Um, do I go to the rocky planet or do I go to this rocky planet? I don't know. Let's go to this one. We're gonna land then. Confirm. And we're going to drill. What's inside of this planet? Let's go to a depth of one and see. I have found hafnium. Ha! <laughs> and silicon, which means I can remake my telescope. I also have found some iron. So we're gonna drill again to a depth of three. We're gonna get lots of this stuff. Um, actually I don't need that much silicon. At least not that I think I need. Unless, of course, I want to, I don't know, make implants or something. Which might be fun, now that I'm all alone. My brain just went someplace weird, didn't it? Okay, so, let's go down to the mm, depth of two, then. Let's get more iron. I don't think I need... Wait, I don't have any room for the iron? Really? Come on, then. I'm going to drop what? Drop the thorium. No, I'm going to drop the copper. 
We're dropping cover. Carbon. Whatever, not carp. It starts with a C. Um, I knew what it was, I just forgot. Anyway. Um, do I continue drilling then? Depth of one. Let's get some more iron. I may as well take that silicon too. And we're going to finish up. And we're going to put that in our hole. Right there. All of that. And I'm going to split this. Um, because reasons. Wait, no. Oh, it's already split. Right, it's perfectly split. Of course it's perfectly split. It was four, and it splits in half. Um, that's, that's good. Half neum and everything. Okay, now, what can I make here? Um, I've already made this. It's installed. I can now make the gravitational lens. However, to make a gravitational lens, I still need a telescope, right? I need that telescope. So I need to repair the telescope first. Okay, what do I have for space on my ship now? Am I losing space? Okay, the thorium I can get rid of. Um, tungsten I'm going to hang on to because tungsten can save me. I've seen it save me in the past. Wait, I don't need anything for thorium, do I? No, I do not. So let's drop the thorium. Dropping. Confirming. Now, we're going to make a telescope. Crafty. There we go. Now, we are going to make... Wait, I don't have the... I don't have the iron now. I am, I am, an, I am so, I am so smart. If I was any, any smarter, if I was any smarter, everything's fine though. We, we're okay. We have, we have, we have the ability to grab more. So we just did. Um, we're going to finish up then, and we are going to take a look at our ship, and then we're going to make the gravitational lens. There it is. Crafting that. <sighs> Right, so, good, then, I am going to, um, what, we're just going to take off then, confirm, and we're going to see what this actually does for us, when we go and take a look at the universe, what do we see, it just tells us about the red giant, red dwarf, oh, the gravitational lens allows us to see bodies in around the place that we otherwise would miss, better chances that maybe, you know, finding a ship, how's that for an awesome idea, red giant, we're going to go there, I think. Red Dwarf. Red Giant. Let's go to the Red Giant. It's also getting us closer to these areas. Closer to my destination. So let's go... Wait, what's this then? Another Red Giant. A black hole! Right then, let's go to the Red Giant. Please be a good event. Don't break the stuff that I just made, please. Don't break the stuff I just made. I've seen God knows how many planets. Not one had a Catholic cross or any other religious symbol. The conquest of space must surely be the end of all human religion. At least, as we currently know it. Right. There's a whole bunch of rocky planets here. Um, dangerous atmosphere. It's something I can actually handle. I can get some fuel from there. And let's take a look at our ship right now. Um, I could drop... I could drop this copper. I don't need this copper. Confirm. Um... And that's where I can put my, my... Mm, don't want to drop anything else. You know what, I can, I can drop the silicon as well. Because I can break things down to get silicon. So that's fine, we're going to drop that. Confirm. Now I've got space now for fuel. Should I decide to fly at that damn star to get it? Um, rocky planet, rocky planet, rocky planet. We don't really need that at our... We have, we need, we're in need of oxygen, in fact. In like to fact. Wait. Okay, can I have a... Can I have a breathable atmosphere? Yellow Dwarf. Let's go. Let's, uh, do I want to go there first, though? Or do I want to go and try to get some fuel first from this star? You know what? We're going to try to get some fuel. Ooh, it takes six oxygen to get there. Um, shit. Balls. Balls of shit. Ship destroyed. I hate that. Alright, code red. This will be my last entry. The hull is disintegrating and the whole ship is losing pressure. I'm putting a spacesuit on right now to allow for a couple of extra minutes of survival, but this is still the end. So long, my... May mankind someday find my logbook. In a star? The testament of one of their brothers who fought until the very end. This is the end of my journey. Flew too close to the stars, man. Right. So this particular run through was only uh, 6,670. My best is 32,837. So when you pick up this game, let me know what your best is. 
I want you to completely destroy my ego. I want you to get past 32,837. And if you ever beat it, destroy my ego further by letting me know that happened. Um, we're going to restart then. I'm not going to stop it right there on the on the actual dot because, well, if I did, when people come to about two, three minutes from this, they'd be like, hey, he's going to die here. And I just know it. You won't know it now. Aha, sneaky, sneaky. Yellow Dwarf. Starting a new game. And here we are then. Another astounding tale. I came across a huge energy ball, shiny and colorless, that seemed alive. It grabbed my ship with curiosity. Since I was sure I was living my last moments, I quickly put on my space suit. Smart move, because it took me out of my ship by some kind of teleportation. It was I was examined briefly, then it fled. It took me several hours to get back to the ship. Weird. You have lost oxygen by twenty. Is that a breathable atmosphere? It is not. It's a gas giant. We're going to orbit that first, and we're going to probe the hell of it. Launch probe. And it's not its not rich. It's not rich in anything. I'm just going to keep doing this then for days. Please forgive me, and how boring this is. I would really like to have some helium for my efforts. Alright, I'm going to totally, completely drain this planet, though. This gas giant... Won't even have any gas left. It's just gonna be a giant donut. Take it all out the middle. Wait, I can just put that there. Stack it up just nicely. Okay then, finish. Um, and that is going to be a rocky planet. Do I want to go and grab anything from there? I do really need to. So no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna go to this yellow dwarf, and maybe find some signs of life. Right, right, let's do it. But signs of life, it will happen this day. Right now, in fact. There's a leak in the ship. The loss doesn't bother me much. It's less than a kilo per hour, but the leak leaves a bright trail behind the ship. If there are enemies here, I'll soon know. Right. Um, there's another gas giant there. Let's go ahead and orbit it. Only took three damage. No problem. In fact, that was super easy. Launch probe to death of one this one of these planets again. Well, of course it is. One of these planets that look like it's going to be amazing. And it turns out to be crap. Super crab. Like a big pile of it. Like a triceratops pile of crab. Alright. Makes me want to watch Jurassic Park. Nothing left to drill. Finish. And we're going to take a look over here. This rocky planet deserves nothing from us. So we are going to look at our ship and we're going to toss in that fuel. And in fact, we're going to toss in the other bit of fuel too. All the way then. 78. On reserve. I'm going to split this to two. And uh, there we go. We're going to repair that. Very good. Take a look at space and we're going to go to this yellow dwarf. I'm surrounded by yellow dwarfs. <laughs> Yeet. Insert obvious joke here. Mm. Meteoric rain fell on the ship like iron hail. I managed to divert my course in the nick of time and only lost a little fuel. Nothing to worry about. Bye fuel. Not really that bad. Hey, garden planet. Perfect. Love it. A gas giant and a gas giant. Purple gas giants are the best gas giants. Right? 27 damage. Son of a bitch. Seriously. This planet is... is... These planets, in fact, I found three of the same type. Rich in nothing. I could find more hydrogen if I just boiled my water. Right, there's nothing left. Finish. Um, we're gonna try this one then. This one better have something because I just took a crap ton of damage from it. All right, all right. I think we found one, guys. All right, 14 then. Continue doing that for eight. Launch probe going down to depth of three. There's the four. Depth of two. Two. And we're down to one, then that was a net loss. Well, not really. I will have fuel now. Still not a fuel tank. Or a full fuel tank. But it's getting there. How much further can I go? Nothing left to drill. Alright, finishing up. Toss this in, then. That's gonna be like 26, and then 17, no, and then 34 on top of that. 70? 
60. Hey, this is why I never do math in public, except I do all the damn time. So we're going to drop that in, then it's going to be back to 100. Perfect. And we're going to, oh, what? Wrong button. Click that, that, and then we're done with the probing. And normally we're going to go to this garden planet. Land, because we need some oxygen. Breathable atmosphere of this planet has allowed me to restore my oxygen supply. We're going to encounter the life. What does it mean? Uh, we are going to approve this message. The alien doesn't want to talk anymore. Apparently, we screwed up. Right. Um, we're going to drill here. Just a tip drill. Um, and, and nothing of import, in fact. Um, you know what, I'll take the carbon, whatever. Um, you know what, I'm just going to leave. Finish. Out of here, take off. Confirm. Took a soil sample of uh, the alien life planet. Another yellow dwarf. What? Let's go. Now what? Ghosts talk and ask me to join them outside the ship. I have no notion of time anymore. I do not know if I have had enough sleep. I would say, no, you have not. Another garden planet. Fantastic. Gas giant, gas giant, risky orbit, risky orbit. And I am thinking I need to repair my hull. So let's go here first, weirdly enough. Know what? This, we're going to risk it. It's fine. It's fine. Holy shit, that was not fine. I have three hull left. Please give me lots and lots of... Mm, yeah. All right, launch probe then. Depth of four. It's 14. Depth of three. Six. Depth of two. Three. And then one all day long. That way I continue having a net gain. I don't lose any. That's all. Continue, continue, continue. Launch it. Launching probe, Commander Shepard. Mm. Almost got it. I think it's probably empty now. Because why would it give me a full stack of 20? But it did! Nice! Nothing left to drill. I have one remaining. Finish that. Drop this in then. Boom. Plus this. There we go. Back to 74. And since we have now done that, I have some actual reserve. I am going to take a look at this. I'm going to go to this garden planet. I'm going to orbit it. Everything's going to be fine. Landing. Confirm. I don't have enough resources to complete this action. Should I risk it all anyway? Wait, check cargo. What's the problem? What does it say? 10 oxygen, 4 fuel. Oh wait, no, it takes 10... 10 hull to get down there. Right, cancel. Um, look at our ship then. Um... Yes, do it! Just do it! Lucky me, this is incredible. But I managed to get here with minimum resources spent. Shall I thank Supreme Powers for my survival? And why did I do that? Uh, no, now I need to somehow replenish my resources. We're gonna hope down here we're gonna find nothing more than... You know what, wait, before we do that we need to encounter the life. Alright, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to approve of this. Approve, and it's gonna be great. Right, um, they want something from our cargo. Let's give them hydrogen. Please want that. Doesn't seem to like it. Right. They've lost hydrogen. <sighs> Tip drill. And no iron. Oh, I swear this planet is just all of a sudden ugly. It must be ass, because it ain't its face. Um. I'm going to use a tip drill. Tip drill. Let's go a little deeper. Maybe we'll find something. Nope. In fact, we did not. Carbon. No oxygen. Cobalt. Finishing up. We're leaving. Take off. <laughs> black hole, black hole. Or supernova. These are all fantastic choices. And by fantastic, I mean not fantastic in the slightest. Let's go here then. Black hole. Let's go stare into the void. But not long enough for the void to stare back into us. Hello, black hole. Nah. Leaving. Um. Let's go this way. Black shit, really? 
White Dwarf. I can't even get to that yet. Red Giant. One black hole to another black hole. These are dancing black holes. Um. Let's travel to this one. What could possibly go wrong? I'm running out of fuel. That's what possibly could go wrong. Ah, oh, nothing again. I was hoping to find a ship, to be honest. Yellow Dwarf. And I have no fuel after this, or do I? Do I? I do. Oh my god. Ah, oh, sweet fuel. Replenish, please. Um, Yellow Dwarf. I like Yellow Dwarfs. Let's do this. Travel. Everything's fine. No, it's not. The star field did look a little odd, but when my engine suddenly shut down, I knew I was in trouble. I'm in a big cloud, liquid and transparent. I analyze it. It's pure alcohol. Ethyl formate, to be exact. An alcohol, sorry, an organic ester that smells like rum. I fill some sample tubes with it while considering how much to escape this situation. Power the engines, jettison some cargo. Powering the engines is going to cause damage to my ship. I'm going to die. Jettison some cargo. A kilo at a time, I eject cargo through a makeshift pipe, producing a homemade propulsion similar to that used millennia ago by ancient human ships. I will get up some speed and reach the surface without trouble. Other than for the loss of cargo, which I guess is an okay trade-off, I have three hull. If I was to ignite my thrusters, I was going to explode and die in a fire. I have lost iron and cobalt. Whatever. There's no rocky surface, there's no rocky planet. There's no way I can do this. I'm going to die. Guys, I'm dead. Everything's dead. We're over. It's done. We have nothing left. Um, blue giant. Red dwarf. Blue giant again. Do I have enough to get there? I do have enough to get there. Maybe, just maybe I'll find a planet that I can get down on, get some iron, and then go get some... <laughs> get some fuel. Right? Of course. That's the way. Blue Giant, then. Or maybe I'll find a ship. And that new ship will save my life. Space unfolds. I am no longer in space. I am inside a giant structure. Huge, dark spaces and long tunnels made of nothing. And yet, clearly something. This kind of construction could explain the mysterious dark matter that its scientists are still trying to understand. I wander it aimlessly until I find curious light. It blinks yellow and blue. Nearby, three large tunnels full of colored crystals yawn open. Inviting. Take the yellow tunnel, green tunnel, white tunnel. Right. Okay. Sure. Uh, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, um, green means go. I fly through the green opening. It widens until quickly I find myself once more in open space. Curious. You would think so. Garden planet. I don't have the resources to get down to the planet's surface without dying. But we're going to have to try it anyway, aren't we? And hopefully on this garden planet we will find iron. Unless, of course, we die. Trying to get down there. Landing. It takes ten hull to get there. I've got three. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Everybody cross your fingers. Tell your eyes. It's not going to blow up. Is it? Oh! Lucky me, it's incredible, but I managed to get hit with minimal resources spent. Shall I thank Supreme Powers for my survival and why they did they do that? Now I need to somehow replenish my res- uh, Ha 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 ha. Ooh, look who's, look who's tough, man. Look who's tough. He's me. I'm gonna drill first. No, I'm not. Cancel. Counter life, because I think if you drill before you encounter life, things go wrong. We're going to approve of this- Like, 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 um, yeah. I have nothing of interest for this alien. Drill. Please give me iron. Please give me iron. We did. We so did. We more than dead. We super dead. I have one fuel. Let's travel. Go! See if I make it. How lucky can I be? Not very, apparently, because this is where I'm at. Out of fuel. This will be my last entry. My fuel tanks are empty and I have nothing left to produce fuel with. And this is an example of when RNG kicks your ass. This is the end of my story. Well, 
that's yet another one down, another one bites the dust. If there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this and look for more of this game because I, I can't stop playing, to be honest. Um, and with all that said, have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Barar Stone, signing out.